This is the route I fell off last week. It's not super hard. It's super steep and slippery. I'm just not very impressed with myself. So let's try and let's try and tick it today. It's a bit warm, but let's make an effort. It's only French 6B+, plus, but it's very technical, very steep. The side pull was less slippery today, so that was good. And I still, the, the sequence I had for the crux was wrong. So I had to swap my hands over. Luckily I had plenty of stamina to do that. But I've worked out the right way to do it now, but I don't need to, but... Can let it go. Good omen. Porpoise right by the cliffs as we get here. Really close in. That's unusual. We're back at Rosili. We haven't been here all summer because Rosili gets really busy in the summer, so we've just avoided it. We do it in the autumn, what have you. Foolishly, we've come to Rosili on a bank holiday weekend. So there's climbers everywhere, but we've come to do that route to climb that arete there this is um, white noise it's graded about 60 plus French 60 plus so it was a bolted route it's a sport route and it's it's hard and I'm a little bit I'm a little bit afraid but I'm not afraid of falling I'm afraid of failing and because I've started I think it's a normal thing you, you do you, you get afraid of failing if you get afraid of failing, you often don't attempt some of the harder things in life, which can be very rewarding and a lot of fun. And this route has got three stars on it. I climbed it several months ago, uh, fell off it. There are some hidden holds. It's pretty technical. It's a little bit pumpy. I worked out the moves and then I did it from bottom to top on a top rope. And actually, I wasn't at my limit. It, was, um, it wasn't too bad. But now, some months later, I've forgotten where the hidden holds are and what the moves are. So I'm not quite back to the on sighting level, but it kind of feels like it. This week an opportunity popped up, which again, uh, I'm a little bit afraid of. Um, and I'm, again, I'm afraid of, of failing. It's an opportunity that is a bit scary. It has got a lot of difficulties to it, but it could be really, could be really good. So my first instinct was to, no, no, I don't want to, because I was too scared. And then I, the more I thought about it, the more I discussed it with Kim, I thought, well, you should at least try. It doesn't matter if you fail, but it's worth trying, right? And it's not something I can, it's not something I can talk about. There are a whole bunch of um, 6C and 7A routes that I want to get into, sport routes on the Gower that I want to climb. But I want to get things like this ticked off before I move on to new problems. Do you see what I mean? You start, otherwise you start having this collection of things you haven't quite finished. So I want to I wanna get this done. And I genuinely don't know if I 
can do it today. I think I should be able to. But that's another part of the fear of failing. If you have a fear of failing, then you're probably approaching something that's a real challenge and you really don't know whether you can succeed or not. And if you do succeed, that brings even greater rewards. So in terms of climbing, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get in the habit of climbing harder, climbing harder, climbing harder, and getting used to failing and getting used to falling. So I've got a little bit of adrenaline. It's a bit like before a race because I know I'm going to have to make a big effort. I don't really know how it's going to go. So I've got to manage all that, which is fine. Um, but attempting something that you might fail on like this can be really good fun and you can learn a lot and you can, in fact, it's, it's good training. So, okay, so what do you do if you're, if you have a fear of failing, but you want to, you, you think you should try this thing? Well, there's a whole bunch of things you can do. So um, if you're, if there's a fear of failing, then you're, you might fail that ultimate goal of completing the route bottom to top. You can put in some other goals, some smaller goals, like have fun, like, um, remind yourself of the crux, like get a good pump so that you've had a good workout. So these are minor goals that you probably won't fail at, you'll probably succeed at. So if you've got a big challenge, you can break it up into smaller challenges and tick those off as you go. We don't like failing because when you fail, you don't feel very good. It makes you feel kind of bad about yourself and a bit uncomfortable and a bit, a bit weedy and pathetic. But you've got to remember that if you if you have a fear of failing and you don't try those things that are hard then you'll never get anything great done and you're probably missing out on a lot so just trying can be its own reward and you can learn a lot just by trying and if you fail at one thing you might learn enough from that experience so that next time when you approach something similar you succeed because you're better prepared right enough talking let's get on with it see whether I fail or succeed and see how I feel afterwards. Uh, can you remember the moves? <laughs> Was fantastic that in the end that was easy it's a bit windy so I felt like I was gonna get blown off but it's a perfect day for it because the rock feels there's loads of friction it's really easy to grip hold of uh, your feet stick really well it's just a beautiful route it's, the moves on it are so good and I'm not really pumped by the top more my hands are just a bit cold but I haven't really got much of a pump and I didn't do the crux beautifully but it's fine it's fine it was good so pleased I tried. So pleased, pleased that I tried and got over my fear of failing. How do you feel? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it's the bank holiday weekend, so we've got three days of climbing like this. The weather forecast is perfect for climbing, and we're just going to climb every day until we're tired. hanging on a rope for half an hour and I just flashed it no bother got to get over that fear of failing and then you could do anything 
Oh, that's amazing. wind caused us a load of grief at the end there with the ropes and the rope got stuck in a crack in the rock and uh, when I was halfway up the thing cleaning the brute and wow so a bit of a nightmare finished to an otherwise strong session but I'm really pleased so by pushing myself to overcome my fear of failing and just kind of getting used to trying and not minding failing I've had that's that's some of the best climbing I've done in years. Years, I tell you. Right. Oh, wonder what I'll do next. Wonder what I'll do next. Find something else. Anyway, right. See you lot next week. Yeah.